2D and other motion graphics. In this one, I'm going to let you know what is LUTI files. Have you ever tried to put your motion graphics on websites? Have you ever tried this way? Uh, which is quite interesting. As you can see in the right part of this website, I put it a motion graphics here as a JSON file and it's really simple. LUTI files can help you to export or render your final output as a JSON. So you can simply let a developer have your JSON file to put it on your website or whatever that you want. To start with, I'm going to let you know how you can download the LUTI file and how you can install it. To start with, I want to uh, let you have the website. If you go to the website, you can simply log in with your Gmail. And uh, if you go to the second tab, you can see Adobe After Effects here. You can download this plugin for Figma, Webflow, WordPress, and the other software. In that case, I start with Adobe After Effects. There is two ways you can download and install it on your uh, personal system. Download from Adobe Exchange, which is direct, and uh, download as ZXP plugin. To download as an XP plugin, you need the third party. I mean, you need um, ZXP installer to install your file. Just simply click, drag, and drop the file on the ZXP installer. After that, uh, you're gonna have your um, LUTI files in your After Effects. Here is a tip. We have some barriers when we are creating motion graphics for websites. Here is some uh, barriers. When you scroll down to the website, you can see the barriers here. For instance, you can use all shapes, but uh, there is some barriers. Uh, for instance, um, you, when you have a shape, you can simply use fields uh, on that shape, and uh, it's visual on Android, iOS, Windows, Web, uh, SVG, Web Canvas, and Web HTML. And uh, here is the barriers, as you can see, which is um, red. Uh, if you have polyester and you use masks on it, when you export it as JSON and put it on the website, if you go to the website with Windows, you can see that motion graphics correctly. You know, uh, I think you get the idea what I'm talking about. If you click on that link, and uh, you can see uh, more barriers in front of you. Uh, for example, if you have a text, you should be careful what sort of uh, details you are going to use to animate your text. Uh, you can't use anchor point grouping uh, because Android iOS Windows can see this one, but uh, web, uh, SVG, Canvas, and HTML can see that motion. You can't use range selector. In that case, I used, it works. But I don't know why uh, it says it's not usable. And um, you can't use range selector, easy high, range selector, easy low. And uh, I will let you know. Okay, let's jump into the project. Uh, in that case, I used a free vectors from Freepik. Uh, Freepik is my favorite website. You can uh, have free licenses. So you can download uh, any files as EPS, JPEG, or SVG, whatever that you want. I download it. I import it to the Adobe Illustrator, as you can see. Uh, I have divided into six parts, as you can see. Uh, background, body, head, and monitor, love, and rocket. The order is important. If you put the head in top of monitor, it's not accurate. So uh, make sure you have uh, the correct order. Okay, let's jump into the After Effects. Okay, for now, I'm going to double click on Project Panel and um, make sure you are going to import your Adobe Illustrator as a rectangle layer size because we need to have uh, divided parts. Simply double click on it, uh, select them all, make sure you are going to add a rasterize for all of them to have a high quality edges and then uh, I need my composition setting here uh, it is called example example uh, 
four frames per second five seconds would be nice and uh, okay just copy and paste the files here which is great and uh, make sure you are going to click on source name to see the names as you set okay to start with the rocket uh, it's going to be two seconds and hit that N and make a bracket for it go to the first frame hit P and add a position go to one second and uh, create a small or minimal movement here um, I will copy and paste this one at the end let's see what do we have okay great select them all right click easy ease them go to the graph editor select them all I'm trying to make it quite interesting let's see okay great it, it works for me okay about the love love is always important um, I need to scale and a small rotation right make sure you are going to hit U to see the keyframes here because uh, we need them okay um, about the rotation and the scale uh, add a keyframe here put it put them to the center and about the rotation um, about nine minus 90 about the scale zero copy and paste at the end the rotation would be 90 for me it depends on you select them all easy ease them go to keyframes select them just make them interesting let's see what do we have uh, I think I need a pause here wait just copy and paste it here mm, let's see how it looks okay it's way much better okay about the head uh, select the head press Y and uh, change this anchor point to the body here I mean and hit R to open up the rotation add a keyframe put it to the center it's going to be like this minus a and copy and paste it here select them all right click easy ease them go to the graph editor select the keyframes and let's see no oh, it's quite interesting now we're talking it's quite interesting okay great uh, we need to add a text select text and open up a bracket here uh, let's say um, good vibes here get out of you can enjoy Away. okay um, select your uh, text layer just open up the um, details go to the animation add position set it to 100 open up the range selector add the keyframe to start and go sit one second put it from 0 to 100 and copy paste the first frame to the end uh, it depends on your mood you can go to the advance and uh, select by characters or uh, words lines uh, it's going to be for me let, let's see first it's character by character uh, it's going to be word for me great and uh, if you press lines you can see line by line okay 
I'm uh, added to board. Select them all. Right click and easy ease them. Go to draft editor. Make it quite interesting. Okay, uh, we need a pause here. Let's see what do we have. Okay, we have created our motion, which is quite good. It's really simple. Okay, to export our file, when you install the Lori file, you can uh, simply go to Window, Extension, and open up the Lori file. And it's going to be like this. As you can see, here is our compositions. And this one, which is called example, uh, when you click on the next, uh, it's going to render as um, JSON file. Uh, if you have free version, you have to upload uh, your final output and then download it. If you have the paid one, you can simply save it as file in your PC. Okay, hit that button, wait to render. It takes some time and it's now ready. I can't save it to my computer, personal computer, because I have free version. If you click on save to workspace, uh, it's getting ready to upload. You need to upload on your uh, profile. When I upload it, as you can see, uh, here is my profile. Let's uh, refresh my profile. It's going to be here. Yes, it's uploaded. As you see, you can simply download from here, uh, publish to public, download as files or JSON. Um, you can download it from here. For now, I'm going to download as a JSON. If you go back to the After Effect, uh, when it's uploaded, you can um, scroll down and uh, click on that bottom and download as JSON to your personal computer example okay let's go to my files in Lari and uh, as you can see it's going to be crazy can you see that tons of numbers uh, that we can understand what is it now if you um, let any developers have your file as JSON they can put your video uh, in their website as you can see here which is really lovely i hope you enjoyed and like this video please like the video and do subscribe to my channel now make sure you are going to use the links down below that i have provided